younger than springtime am I, gayer than laughter am I, angel <laughs> Hey, where do you do sound happy, Miss Jones? I am happy, yeah. Mr. Rigsby. The grass is greener, the flowers are brighter, there's a scent of blossom. And do you know why, Mr. Rigsby? Horse manure, Miss Jones. I <laughs> beg your pardon. The, the load of horse manure we put down last year. It has nothing to do with horse manure, Mr. Rigsby. It's love. Love, Miss Jones? But... Yes, Mr. Rigsby, love. Two hearts beating as one, two souls entwined. Love has come to this grim place, lighting up its dark corners, breaking its brooding silence with happy laughter. Love is a many splendid. Oh, uh, so that's it. Who is it this time, Miss Jones? What do you mean, Mr. Rigsby? I wonder why you're getting out your chocolate digestive. Who is it this time, eh? <laughs> Who is it this time has been led on by your cold beauty until he thinks happiness is within his grasp, only to find himself discarded like an old sock? An old sock? Until all that's left of him is a quiet moment alone with his safety arranged. Who is it? Who is it? No need for all No this, need, no need. Rigsby. How many hearts are you going to break, Miss Jones? I haven't broken any hearts. Oh, yes, you have. You, you break hearts like, 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 like this, and this, and this, and this, and this. Do you really? That's what you leave behind, Miss Jones. It looks like half a pound of broken biscuits. <laughs> you take a man's finest feelings and you leave them crushed and mangled like, like, like this. Not the and flowers, this, and this. No, no, Mr. Rigsby. I wasn't referring to myself. I'm not in love, alas. I was taking this tray to the young couple across the landing. Oh, I'm terribly sorry, Miss Jones. I think so. <laughs> yes, I didn't realize the young couple. On. Oh, I'm, I didn't yes. oh, I'm terribly sorry. <laughs> really, I should, you must excuse, uh, must excuse my outburst, Miss Jones. Oh, Mr. Rigsby, you should see the way they look at each other. Right. They can't bear to be apart for a moment. Right. You know she wept when he went out to fetch the newspapers? Yeah. Newlyweds. Yeah. I saw him carry her over the threshold. Wasn't that romantic? Yes, yes. Mind you, it's early days, Miss Jones. What? If she weeps when he goes for the newspaper, what's she going to do when he wants a game of darts? <laughs> <laughs> Probably have hysterics. Oh, I should have known you'd take that attitude, Mr. Rigsby. You've always been cynical about marriage, just because you had a bad experience. What do you mean, a bad experience, Miss Jones? I mean, when your wife left you, Mr. Rigsby. Oh, that wasn't the bad experience. That was the good bit. <laughs> oh, there must have been good times when you were first married. Didn't you carry her over the threshold? Hey, well, I certainly tried. Oh, yes, yes. <laughs> Unfortunately, I banged her head on the doorpost. <laughs> oh, she was a big lump. Oh. A big lump? Yes. Is that all you can say about her on her wedding day? Mm. She must have been beautiful. All brides are beautiful. Well, she was a fine sight, no yes. question about it. Yes, all dressed in white silk. Yes, her veil trailing behind her, all wispy and mm. gossamer. Yes, yes she's to, she seemed to float on air, yes. Till it tried to get my arms round. It was like trying to grab all of a detached badge balloon. The way you talk about her, Mr. Rigsby, I'm surprised you ever got married. Uh, yes, me too. Well, why did you get married? Oh, uh, tactical blunder of the first order, Miss Jones. Yes, I did it for security. Oh, you mean her father had money? Uh, no, no, a shotgun. Yes. <laughs> uh, said I'd been tampering with her. Tampering? <laughs> had a sooner tampered with the rugby league forward. <laughs> well, I haven't become quite as cynical as you, Mr. Rigsby. I still believe in true love. A young couple setting out on the path of matrimony, so young and vulnerable, brings a lump to my throat. I'm, I'm terribly sorry, Miss Jones. I didn't mean to bring a lump to your, to your, to your throat. I'm <laughs> awfully sorry. I mean, uh, right. oh, yes. Oh, no, no. Sorry, my, just because I had an unhappy experience, Miss Jones, there's no reason for me to feel bitter, is there? No. no, no. no. Perhaps if I had found my Miss Wright, <laughs> someone with charm and... And, and breeding someone not a million miles away, Mr. Oh, Mr. Yes. Perhaps things might have been different for me. Who knows? I'm so sorry I brought it all oh, back. It's all right, Miss Jones. I suppose the wounds never heal properly, well, do they? Well, mine did eventually, Miss oh, Jones. Yes. I, I had stitches. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but, uh, oh, come on, let's cheer up. Let's, yes. let's come on, let's celebrate properly. Forget the tea. Uh, get out the cut glass, Miss Jones. Oh. I have just remembered where I can lay my hands on a bottle of champagne. Oh, that would be lovely, <laughs> yes. Mr. Rigsby. After all, they're probably feeling a little bit nervous. Yes, it's the strain of the wedding ceremony, the, the cruel jokes at the reception. The yes. aching desire to be alone yes, together. Yes, and then uh, phew, the anticlimax. Yes. Do you think there'll be an anticlimax? Oh, yes, there's bound to be. Oh, yes, there's always a few shocks on the wedding oh. night. Yes, yes, could be anything, yes. The unexpected sight of a set of false gnashes in a glass by the bed. <laughs> some removal of a cork leg. You know, anything. <laughs> So a few romantic uh, touches will be in order. Yes, cut some more flowers, Miss Jones. I'll get the bubbly. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> yes, what do you want? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't know you. Uh, I didn't want to disturb you. Know. Well, if you just slip me this bottle of champagne, love. Uh, no. Nope. Oh, oh, come on. It's been up here ages. It's only gathering dust. 
I'm saving it. Saving it? What for? What a special occasion. What a special occasion? First black couple to win gum dancing. <laughs> <laughs> That's my business. Come on, Phil, come on. Come on. I mean, th 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 this, is a, this is a special occasion, uh, uh, Phil. We've we got something to celebrate. Don't tell me they've restored the death penalty. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's the... It's the, it's the oh, very funny. It's the young, uh, it's the young couple downstairs. You're the newlyweds, yes. Miss Jones and I thought we'd give them a night to remember. I'd have thought they'd have a night to remember without Miss Jones and you. What are you going to do, conjuring tricks? Oh, that'd be funny, no, no. But we're only trying to be friendly towards them. Look, Rigsby, it's their wedding night. They don't want you bursting in with champagne. Oh, don't you be too sure, mate. They may be glad of company. It's the first night. Bound to be tension. How do you know it's their first night? Well, they've only just got mad. I mean, the, what, what do you mean? Oh, what do you mean? <laughs> what do you say? Wash your mouth out with soap and water. <laughs> of course, I don't, you can tell that all this thing. Oh. <laughs> You've only got to look at them, a couple of young innocents. As a matter of fact, if I get an opportunity, I might take him on one side, give him a bit of advice. You? Yes, why not? You might be glad of it on a night like this. Oh, we're not like you. We're not like you or not, you know. We're not polygamous. He didn't get over the bag of salt. <laughs> you only get one chance in our society, you know. It's like the golden shot. And you're going to advise him? Yes. They can have the champagne. That's a good lad. I'm not going to miss this. <laughs> you giving advice would be like a frog giving singing lessons. Oh, <laughs> very good. Oh, Robin, alone at last. Yes, I never thought I'd get you to myself. Yes, there were always people. You don't know how I longed for this moment. You don't regret it, Lorna? No. And to think we have the whole night before us. Yes. <laughs> Just you and me and no one to disturb us. <laughs> and uh, does Squirrel Nutkin still love his Mrs. Jiggy Winkle? <laughs> oh, yeah. Squirrel Nutkin loves his little Jiggy Winkle. And he wants to take her to his nice warm nest and keep her there all <laughs> Surprise, surprise! That's right. <laughs> what do you want? Well, we, uh, we thought you might be feeling a bit lonely, so uh, we thought we could keep you company. There you are, ready salted. <laughs> we wanted to give you a proper welcome. I'll open the champagne. Yes, champagne? <laughs> now, look at that. You wouldn't think a few years ago he was pounding coconuts with a sharp stone. <laughs> Stand by with the glass. Oh, very good. <laughs> Do you do this with everyone? No, but this is a special occasion. Don't worry, we won't keep you up. Oh, no, I didn't mean that. Oh. <laughs> You'll probably want to get to bed. Oh, too. <laughs> You're probably so tired after your long journey, you'll sleep like logs. Oh, well, not logs, exactly. <laughs> but I'm doing it again. So sorry. You have to excuse Miss Jones. She's come over rather unnecessary. <laughs> it's the scent of orange blossom. Yes, well, we'll be, are we all charged? Uh, cheers. May all your troubles be at once. This is very sweet of you, Miss Jones. Yes. And if there's anything you need, Oh, my dear. You're not going to wear those. What? Well, these striped things. Well, yes. No, but you can't. Not tonight. Come with me. I'll see what I can find. But Miss Jones... No, no, no. I insist. You can't wear those. You'll think he's in bed with his grandfather. <laughs> if you may will excuse us Certainly, for a moment. Certainly, Miss Jones. Off you go. Thank you. My dear. <laughs> Nervous? No. Never mind. You're in luck. Bigsby's going to give you some advice. What? <laughs> now, Robin. The... Yes, the girls have gone. Right. Now, Robin, the first thing I want to say to you is this. What, uh, do you mind if I call you Robin, or do you prefer Squirrel Nutkin? <laughs> no, Robin will be fine. Robin, fine. Now, I just... Do, do, do you mind? Do you mind? Just a word of advice, Robin. Now, uh, you know about the facts of life. Yeah, well, yes. Yes, yes, I thought so. Yes, but remember, that's not everything. Be gentle with her. I beg your pardon? Remember, she's something precious, something above price. You must treat her like a, like a piece of Dresden. She'll feel like an antique. Oh, shut up. <laughs> she said, be, she said, take your time. Don't rush at it, you know what I mean? Like a bullet at gate. <laughs> You've got all your life in front of you. You may be tempted to go completely mad, but don't. Remember Christmas? Oh, when you were a little lad, you couldn't wait to get through all your fruit and nuts, and afterwards you said to yourself, oh, well, we should save something for Boxing Day. <laughs> I think I know what you mean, but if yes. you don't mind. Yeah, and, and try and smart yourself up. What? I mean, look, well, first impressions are very important. Now, take Philip, where are you? Take Philip here. He's lethal with the opposite sex, but you wouldn't find him on a night like this without his silk dressing gown and a dab of aftershave. Am I right, Philip? That's right, no, Mr. Have you got a dressing gown? No. Right, you can have mine, he'll give you the aftershave. Now, <laughs> what you've got to do, you've got, you watch it. You, yeah, yeah. What you've got to do is you've got to behave with a bit of poise, a bit of sophistication. <laughs> you see, you sip your champagne and you admire the outline of the abattoir against the night sky. <laughs> Indulge in a bit of light chit chat. Then perhaps serenade. Someday I'll find you. Oh. Moonlight behind. That sort of thing. 
And then you must say something complimentary. It's most important at this stage. What do you think you should say, Rigsby? Well, something like... Will you keep out of my way? What you've got to say is something like, um... Oh! Oh, my... Oh, God. <laughs> oh, my dear. You look beautiful tonight. Oh, like an ivory... St will you get off? Like an ivory statue. Your skin like porcelain. Your smile as mysterious as the Venus de Milo. I see we're back in the antiques again. Oh, <laughs> then something like... Come on, my dear. A touch more of the tipple. Uh, Thank you. I think I need one. Uh, what do you think? Yeah, I don't think you'll pull it off myself. Ah, <laughs> oh, here we are. I'm sure this one will suit you. Are you sure? Yes, I bought it for a similar occasion. But it's never been out of the pull of theme. Yes, I know the feeling. I'm afraid it was not to be. But I can't, Miss Jones. Oh, of course you can. It's about time it saw some action. Oh, dear, I'm so sorry. I don't know what's come over me tonight. <laughs> If you really don't mind. Not at all, Lorna. And if you feel there's any help or advice that you need, remember that my room is just opposite. Oh, I'm sure I'll be all right, Miss Jones. Good girl. And Lorna, I don't quite know how to put this. You may find things just a little disappointing. If you do, don't worry. A brave smile. Keep your dignity. Well, not too much, of course. Remember, you're not having tea with the vicar. I'll remember that, yes. Miss Jones, but there's no need to worry. Well, you're bound to be nervous. It is your wedding night. But it isn't. Not really. We're not married. What? Well, Daddy didn't want me to get married, not until I got my degree. He thought I was too young, so I thought I'd better respect his wishes. What does he know about Robin? Oh, no. I wouldn't dare introduce him to Daddy. Good Lord! <laughs> and she's got my night in. <laughs> Look what Miss Jones is lonely. Isn't it beautiful? Oh, yes, in perfect taste, Miss Jones. Just what one would have expected from a woman of refinement and breeding. Provocative, yet at the same time perfectly acceptable in the event of a fire. Uh, Mr. Wiggs, yes. <laughs> yes, 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 I know, Miss Jones, yes. We mustn't uh, keep these two lovebirds any longer. Not yes, yes. Yes, we must dash now, yes. Yes, come along. I know what weddings can be like. Yes, there you are, my dear. I know, I was very tired after my wedding, yes. Of course, I had this nasty fall at the altar. <laughs> yes, the vicar said I had too much to drink. I hadn't. It was my new shoes. Oh, they were giving me jip. <laughs> Besides, you couldn't get the drink during wartime. <laughs> did you have a nice spread, did you? Yes, of course. Because when I was married, you see, all sorts of shortages. They're not married. I mean, yes, sir, Miss Jones will tell you. Yes, all sorts of... I mean, you couldn't get anything was second-hand in those days. Even the confetti had heel marks. Oh, yeah. Yes. Ah, now that's something. I didn't notice any, any confetti. Did you notice any... Didn't you have confetti? Uh, no. 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 Oh, it wasn't registry office, was it? No. No, of course not. Nothing like a church wedding, eh, Miss Jones? Yes, the, oh, the rosy-faced choristers, the, the hushed congregation, the wedding march. <laughs> dee, 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 dee. And then she comes, the bride, radiant of vision in white. Oh, yes, did you wear white, love? Mr. Rixby, they're not married. I beg your pardon, They're not married! Well, <laughs> they're not what? <laughs> they're not no, what? I'm not a man of the world. A man of the world! It doesn't make any difference, you does it? You wouldn't chuckle, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Raise an impudence of it under, the, under my very own roof. <laughs> my father would never have allowed it. He'd have had him out on the pavement, bag and baggage. <laughs> In his day, he was looking for your sort of woman's leg before he got married. <laughs> Didn't see much more afterwards. <laughs> oh, come on, Rigsby. It couldn't have been like that. The human race would have died out. Yes, I'm not saying it didn't take place, yes, but only under cover of darkness. Oh, yes. They were very secretive in those days, very fussy about the human form. Oh, very fussy, yes. They even used to cover the piano legs. <laughs> what for? Oh, well, the sight of a bare leg could give a sensitive woman an attack of the vapours. Oh, yes. The upper classes had separate changing rooms. Like a visiting football team. <laughs> None of this casual attitude to sex you got nowadays. Oh, no. Doctors had to deliver babies with bags over their heads. <laughs> well, times have changed, Rigsby. Changed? <laughs> they certainly have, mate. I don't know why you're making such a fuss. If you'd gone to a registry office and signed a piece of paper, I suppose that would have been all right. Of course it would have been all right. It would have been legal. Rigsby, they haven't made that illegal. Not yet. Look, she wants security, doesn't she? How do we know she wants security? Of course she doesn't. She, she, how can she relax and do her wifely chores if she thinks every time he goes out for a slice loaf, he might not come back? <laughs> but that could happen even if you're married. <laughs> it's the father I feel sorry for. He knows nothing about it. <laughs> the first he's going to hear when he's invited to the christening. Mind <laughs> you, I might have known they weren't married. Why? I thought they were too happy. <laughs> don't tell me they've made that illegal as well. You don't understand. I have a responsibility. I'm the landlord. Well, they're above the age of consent. There's nothing you can do. No, isn't there, mate? That's what you think. There is. I've done it. What? Well, 
I got her address off her suitcase. Miss Jones is ringing her father right now. I don't yes. believe it. <laughs> so if you hear raised voices and the sound of a shotgun being cocked, you keep your door shut. <laughs> oh, well then, did you get through to him, yes. Miss Jones? Yes. He said he'd be here in a couple of hours. He sounded very angry. I hope oh. we're doing the right thing. Oh, yes, I'm sure we are, Miss Jones. Yes. As long as he doesn't let them have both barrels. <laughs> we don't want to spend half the night picking pellets out the furniture, do we? Both barrels? Yes. You don't think there's any possibility of violence, do you? Yes, yes, it could happen, Monsieur. Oh, no, no, I hope not. They're such a nice young couple. Wait till he sees them together. Yes. Uh, Mind you, it depends where he sees them, doesn't it? What? Well, if he gets here too soon, he might find them flagrante directo. I beg your pardon? Flagrante directo. Oh, you wouldn't know, would you? <laughs> what we've got to do, we've got to box clever, you see, Monsieur. We've got to play for time yes. to make sure they don't celebrate their, um... Celebrate their what? Celebrate their... <laughs> Of their nuptials, Mr. Oh, I see. What shall we do? Well, we've got to divert them in some yes, way. Yes. Um, uh, what about a game of Scrabble? Uh, no, no, no. I don't think that attempt about the bedroom. No, it's got to be something a little more drastic than that. Something like setting fire to the bed. Oh, <laughs> ah, the bed. Now that's given me a good idea. Excuse me. It seems very quiet. I think they've gone. Yes, alone at last. I wish they hadn't gone on about marriage. Is Miss Tiggy Winkle unhappy? Just a little natkin. But we did agree not to get married. I know, but sometimes I think it would have been nice. But you know your father wouldn't have approved. Oh. Come on. Come to Squirrel's little home in the trees where it's all cosy. <laughs> what do you want now? Uh, awfully sorry to disturb you in any uh, shape, manner or form. Uh, just a little job I've got to do. Only take a minute or two. Just, uh, just needs fixing. Well, if it won't take long, you better get on with it. Uh, yes, that's well, if you'll, uh, if you'll excuse me. It's, uh, it's the bed. The bed? Yes, yes, it's the springs this week. We don't mind. And uh, no, I'm sure you don't mind to the others. <laughs> Keep them awake all night. If you just... Uh, <laughs> Uh, I think the trouble's down here. Yes, this is it. Here, here we are. Yes, yes. Oh, no. I can't stand anymore. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Hope you don't mind me saying so. She seems a little upset. Yes, just a little. <laughs> yes. I suppose it's the disappointment, is it? What disappointment? Well, missing the wedding, none of the ceremonial. Oh, it's a great day in a girl's life. You know, she looked lovely in white. Oh, would she? Yes, and you wouldn't look so bad in pinstripes and a topper either. Come on, you've got the figure, you can set them off. Well, that sort of thing doesn't interest me. Oh, come on. What about the presents? You'd never be short of toasters. I'm not very interested in toasters <laughs> either. But what about her then? Have you thought of her? Do you think she wants it like this? Like a lamb led to the slaughter? What? Oh, come on. Just think of it from her point of view. No wedding march. No walk down the aisle on the proud father's arms. Oh, the intake of breath from the congregation as she raises her veil. The rosy-faced choristers remove their chewing gum and burst into song. <laughs> That's what you're missing an awful what one night of ours, your father. Is it me, if you keep on like this, I won't even get that. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, it seems to work. Can you give me a hand? Let me get the frame. How much longer is he going to be? Oh, don't worry. Have another cup of cocoa. It'll help you sleep. Oh, well, not sleep exactly. It'll help you relax the muscles. Oh, dear, I'm doing it again. You don't approve of this, do you, Miss well, Jones? Well, now that you mention it, don't you think it would be better if you waited? Think of it, standing there next to the man you love, all dressed in white. I couldn't wear white. It would be hypocritical. What? Oh, I see. You mean you're not of a... No. No. Well, never mind. I don't think they insist on it. I mean, who is these days? Perhaps you could wear pink. You don't believe in sex before marriage, do you, Miss Jones? My, we are getting down to the nitty-gritty. I don't want you to think I'm a prude. You see, my mother never believed in sex before marriage. But then she was never terribly keen after. <laughs> no, speaking personally, I don't mind before or after. As long as it's not instead of. <laughs> now, think about your poor father. Think how disappointed he's going to be. You don't know him. He'd never agree. He'd just get furious. Oh, would you say he was a violent man? Oh, yes, he's got a filthy temper. And he never listens to me. He's only interested in his collection. Oh, what does he collect? Firearms. Oh, stupid. <laughs> You've gone quite pale, Miss Jones. Go! Oh! What's the matter? I think I heard a foot on the stair. It's him. He's come. Oh, it's only Robin. <laughs> Who did you think it was? Um, would you two mind staying here for a moment? I've just got to see Mr. Rigsby. Excuse me. Ah, oh! I say. I'm looking for a young couple moving tonight. 
You wouldn't happen to know which room. Room? Yes. Is that a gun? What? No. No, it's a walking stick. Oh, I'm so sorry. What were you saying? I was asking which room. Um, yes, it's not a sword stick, is it? <laughs> Certainly not. Now, look, do you mind? I've had a long journey, I'm in a filthy temper, and I want to see my daughter. Your daughter? It's not weighted at one end, is it? Of course it's not weighted at one end. It's a simple, ordinary walking stick. Now, which room is it? That one. Thank you. Aha! Oh, there you are. Oh, yes. Oh, no. Ah, uh, you're the father. Yes. Yes, been expecting you. Oh. You have, Abby. You're pretty cool about it. Well, you know what it's like, not the first time. <laughs> <laughs> Do you mean to tell me it's happened before? Ooh, I can't believe it. What, I have to be very careful. Yes, yes. Not the first girl to lose her head over a good-looking fella. <laughs> good-looking? Uh, my God, what's happened to the bed? Yes, well, collapsed. Won't take the strain these days. Uh, yeah, one false move, you get a spring up your wince yet. <laughs> It would appear I have arrived too late. Now, not necessarily, but you must realise she's headstrong. I know she's headstrong. I didn't know she was short-sighted. <laughs> Of course she's short. I've told her there's no future. I've said to her, look, listen, mate, I'm no prude, but I can only take so much of this sort of thing. You'd be doing me a favour if you get her out of here. Take her off my hands. She can have her money back. Do you mean to tell me she's paid you money? <laughs> well, you don't think you do this sort of thing for nothing, do you? <laughs> my poor little girl. Oh, well. and, uh, wait a minute. What? She's not... Now, no, she's not... Not what? She's... she's no, oh, 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 that delicate <laughs> question no father likes to ask. Is she up the spout? Well, I wouldn't... Uh, <laughs> not my concern, really. On it! Oh. Why should she do a thing well, like that? there we are. I suppose marriage is out of the question. I've suggested it. I'm married myself. <laughs> you mean you tell me you're already married? You tell us I'm getting swine and tops! That's not me! Get him off! He's unhinged! He's ruined my daughter! Ruined you? Yes, I haven't touched you. It's not me! Philip, tell him! It's not him! It's not... <laughs> oh. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, I must say, I didn't expect... What? Well, mind you, if that's what she wants, I mean, we're all the same underneath, aren't we? Yes. <laughs> Take a bit of explaining at the golf club, though. What are you talking now, look, about? I'm not against mixed marriages. It's my daughter's happiness that counts. <laughs> Spencer Tracy was ready to accept Sidney Poitier. <laughs> no, he can't. He can't, man. He's got ten wives already. Ten wives? I'll kill him. Watch him, I'll kill him. Watch him, I'll kill what? what are you doing? You can't marry him. He's got ten wives already. Why should I marry Philip? He's not the one. It's not him, is it? Oh, good heavens, no. Mr Rigsby, the very idea. <laughs> no, this is Robin. My dear fella, I'm delighted to see you. I could have said you'd be angry. And after what I've been through, you've made an old man very, very happy. Now, listen, you must come home. We'll discuss the wedding. Oh, 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 wedding. Listen, everybody, dinner's on me. Oh. I am so relieved. I must celebrate. We thought you wouldn't approve of me. Approve of you? My dear boy, after seeing him, I'd approve of Jack the Ripper. <laughs> hey, just a minute. What do you mean? <laughs>